Is there a planet that is even better for humans than Earth? Scientists are looking for a superhabitable globe that would not only be a match for Earth, but would also allow life to grow even more effortlessly. They're also hunting for exoplanets. By gazing through a telescope, you wouldn't be able to find an exoplanet. Only the brilliant glare of the stars they orbit would be visible. The Kepler telescope was created by NASA to find exoplanets. The Kepler telescope examined our part of the Milky Way galaxy before running out of fuel. Its technique searches for planets hundreds of light years distant using the transit method. How? It measured the variations in light from faraway stars. When a planet passes in front of a star, the star loses its brightness. Exoplanets are discovered using the Kepler telescope. This is not an easy task to do. The Kepler telescope, on the other hand, confirmed the presence of 4,367 exoplanets throughout its nine-year lifespan. If you've watched What If for a long time, you've undoubtedly heard that Earth is a unique location. Even if a planet is judged habitable, it does not necessarily mirror Earth in any way. A habitable planet is a rocky planet in the habitable zone that permits liquid water to remain on the planet's surface. That's it. Venus and Mars are both livable planets, however they are not the same as Earth. So let's speak about three important criteria that we'd seek for in an improved Earth. It would require sunshine to begin with. Our Sun has a lifetime of around 10 billion years, and anything more complicated than the simplest life form required 4 billion years to emerge on our planet. K-type dwarf stars, on the other hand, have a lifetime of roughly 70 billion years. There would be more time for life to evolve and live on an exoplanet circling a K-type star if we discovered one. The temperature is the second most important factor. A planet that is either too hot or too cold will be unable to support the life forms that humans require to thrive. However, if we discover a planet that is just 5 degrees Celsius, warmer than Earth and has more water, Earth 2.0 may be covered in a lush, biodiverse jungle. Size is the third important condition we'd look for. The atmosphere of a planet is preserved by gravity, and the size of a planet is proportional to gravity. So, if we locate a planet just 1.5 times the size of Earth, it will be able to retain its inner heat and keep its atmosphere for a longer period of time. However, larger isn't necessarily better. Exoplanets the size of Earth are generally rocky. And like Mars, if an exoplanet is too tiny, it will most likely be desolate. Is there any exoplanet out there that meets these criteria? I discovered a planet that could be livable. Kepler 1649C may be a candidate for Earth 2.0. It circles a red dwarf star 300 light years distant. It receives sunlight, but only 75% of that received by Earth. As a result, it can be a little colder there. On Kepler 1649C, there would be no seasons. We'd have to get acclimated to the fact that a whole orbit takes just 19.5 Earth days. It might also be tightly locked, meaning one side of the planet is always facing the sun and the other is always facing space. Living on a planet around a red dwarf star might also be dangerous. Red dwarf stars occasionally produce large flares that bathe an orbiting planet in UV radiation and cause significant temperature changes. What would happen if we decided that Kepler 1,649 C is worthy of becoming Earth 2.0? Earth 2.0 would take at least 2,000 years to achieve using present technology. We only know the size of this planet, its distance from its star, and the composition of its atmosphere because it is so far away. So, we can all pack our belongings and travel to Earth 2.0, only to realize that it's more like Neptune 2.0. Uh, yes. We couldn't possibly exist atop a gas giant. Before sending humans to any conceivable Earth 2.0, we'd need a lot more knowledge. NASA is now working on a small probe that will travel at one-fifth the speed of light. It has the potential to dramatically increase our understanding of exoplanets, and we shouldn't restrict our search to exoplanets alone. A moon absorbs direct solar energy from its star and reflects it back to it through the planet it orbits. So a moon could be a better choice for human existence than an exoplanet. Titan, Saturn's biggest moon, is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system. So, if we wish to save thousands of years of travel, Titan would be an excellent second home.
What would life on Titan be like? For starters, the seasons would be extremely lengthy.